Hi there, Hiram here with uh, Ladder Financial Group. Just want to bring a really awesome topic here today, uh, which we get to see a lot. And, uh, and, and the question is, uh, how do you form a business correctly so that I can do what? F maximize my funding capabilities. And that is the biggest thing, right? Capital is what moves uh, the business moving uh, forward. That's capital is what allows your business to, to grow exponentially. Capital is what allows your, uh, your, your business to hire people, even at the startup phase. Uh, so if you guys can see uh, the board back here, one of the things that I wrote was forming a business correctly to maximize your funding. That is the most important thing that you need to keep in mind and focus that if you don't set your business up correctly, the chances of you getting funding is going to be slim to none. And the reason why is because banks are looking for credibility, right? Credibility is crucial. If your credibility is not on point, banks think that you're a hobby, just like soap props. Uh, you know, soap prop is one of those things that we, uh, we try to do so that we can immediately get out there and, and put our name out there print out some business cards, some flyers, and get the business going so that we can start generating some money. But that is the biggest mistake that you can do because a sole prop is actually an extension of your social security, right? So the first thing you wanna do is, I, I, is actually do your research, pick a name. So picking a name is so important because there's so many things that tie up into the name, right? And, and the name is so important because if, you have, if you're in a high risk, risk industry, what ends up happening is, the banks know that you're in a high risk industry based on your name. I saw homes, uh, LLC, uh, or I, I do logistics, uh, or, or some of those, just to touch on very few uh, high risk industries. But you wanna make sure that you pick a name that is a uh, bit vague, if you will, right? Consulting is always great. Solutions, enterprises. If your first and last name is, a, you know, the initials of your first and last name, A and B, well, AB Consulting Services or AB, it really kind of, yeah, you know, eliminates the whole guesswork when the lenders are pulling a lot of the information. And believe it or not, 70 something percent of applications are actually automatically looked at. So in other words, there's not even a live human being. So if you have your things in order, a lot of the applications will be able to get streamlined as long as everything is in order and get the approval that you're looking for. The other thing here is that when it comes down to a business name, you also wanna make sure that you're looking at a website that's called Proof of Good Standing, right? It's Proof of Good Standing com okay now these are one of the the most famous popular uh, websites that the banks use to determine if you've been that that long in business that's why and this is another this is another uh, live that I'm gonna do on shelf corpse right a lot of people try to buy shelf corpse because the, the that business has been established or the EIN has been established for five years uh, when technically once you transfer the business over to your name, the bank is going to pull proof of good standing or other types of, of uh, data collection on the company and determine that, no, well, the company has not been established three or five years. That Actually, the, the, the business has been established the moment that you transferred money, you bought the shelf corporation, then you establish a new bank account in that business name. So totally different thing. But you also want to make sure that you're going to proof of good standing because if A, B, uh, you know, uh, solutions or enterprise or whatever you want to name your business in your state, somebody had that same business name, maybe two, three, 10 years ago, and they had a bad reputation or they closed down. It just looks really bad on you, right? You basically had the same name as that company that had bad reviews and, and it, it didn't go well. So crucial. It's very crucial that you look at proof of good standings.com to get that data from your state. Basically, it's real simple. You go to proofofgoodstanding.com, you pick your state, and then that information will come over so that you can you know, see what, if your name is, is, is in that directory, right? The second thing you wanna do here is uh, pick an entity. It's so important for you to pick an entity that is not a sole proprietorship. Again, if you wanna take on the whole lending part of it and, and, and attach it to your personal credit, that's okay, go do sole prop. However, if you are going to establish a business and you don't want to tie your business with your personal, right, because your assets should not be uh, combined with your, your business assets, then obviously you want to make sure that you have an LLC, uh, an S Corp, a C Corp, uh, so on and so forth. All right. The other thing here you also want to do is, uh, is apply for your free EIN. Don't make the mistake of applying for an EIN number before you do step number one.
big mistake. You, you apply for an EIN number, you end up finding out that three hours away in your state, somebody has your business name the, the, or the name that you wanted. That name is already picked. So you don't want to have to go then fill out an amendment with the, with the, uh, the, the IRS and then have to don't go and change uh, the, your business name or whatever it is, right? So you want to make sure you don't do the mistake of, of, of getting that EIN before the state actually approves your disregarded entity, okay? And then step number four, apply for your, your DUNS number. A lot of people will go ahead and do this, try to do the same exact thing, Dun & Bradstreet, right? AKA Dun & Bradstreet, AKA Paydex. This is how you're going to be able, when you apply for business loans, this is what the, those lenders are going to report to, which is Dun & Bradstreet, okay? So once you have step number one, step number two, step number three done, you're gonna to go to Dun & Bradstreet's uh, uh, website and apply for your Dun's number, right? Because guess what? You need to have some sort of uh, business credit reporting to your Dun & Bradstreet number, okay? So it's crucial. And then of course, number five is my favorite. Call us for startup funding. We are the alternative and creative pioneer in lending. We are the pioneer when it comes down to that. We know what it is to start a business. We know what it is to scale the business. We know the bell curve of when you start up to how you're, how you're creating a, a tremendous amount of money and then your exit strategy and what it takes to get there. So of course, make sure you don't do, do the mistakes that a lot of business owners do. I'm providing you this information because it's a, a lot of the mistakes that we see in lending. So if you can just take that recommendation, follow these steps. If you need anything from us, feel free to let us know. Hiring with Ladder Financial, checking out. You guys take care. We'll see you again.